Hey everyone, and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine. A couple days ago, we got a load of soil and mushroom manure for my raised garden beds. However, we had to cover it and kind of wait a while because it just kept raining. Um, and moving soil and dirt when it's raining is just a real big pain in the butt and it's a muddy mess. And so we just covered it. I also had to take a break from making new content for a little bit because we were getting ready for our homeschool evaluations and that took up a lot of time and my kids come first so we were focusing on that but today I am off and it's a little chilly out but it's sunny and it's not raining so we're gonna try to get some of the um, soil moved into the garden beds so I figured I would bring you guys along so let's go ahead outside and I'll show you the big old pile of soil and mushroom manure. And then uh, we can start moving it into the garden beds. So here's our dirt pile, guys. We just threw a tarp over it and weighed it down with some old tires. So I'm going to have to uncover it. Um, let me show you the garden beds real quick. So here's all the garden beds. In the last video, you guys saw... I had just finished up that last little one when my husband surprised me with the roosters um, and the hen. So I had to put it on hold, um, but I finished filling them with the compost, so they're all ready to go. And then <laughs> there's turkeys. They're getting so big. Um, so yeah, we just have a layer of compost, and then we're going to put the topsoil and mushroom manure on top of this and then we're going to mix in some peat moss and perlite in the first couple inches. So I'm going to start by filling up these back boxes first and see how far this pile of dirt gets me and we'll go from there. So this is a 50-50 mix of mushroom manure and double shredded topsoil. And we did for this for this amount, this is two yards of topsoil and two yards of mushroom manure. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to fill my boxes, but it's a start. They're giving the loose. Turkey on the loose. Got him. Got him? Got him. All right. <laughs> Not anymore. Easy. There you go. Ouch. <laughs> um, so yeah, and this just ends up being a really good loomy mixture of dirt for the raised garden beds. So I'm excited to plant in it this year.
very first bed is full and I'm so excited. Is this not the most beautiful thing ever? So I didn't fill it way up to the top. I know this is going to sink a little bit over the course of this growing season. So next year I will top it off with um, some more compost or another uh, topsoil mushroom manure mix. Just depends on what the year brings. But I did leave a couple inches so that I can mix in the peat moss and the perlite. But this is just, I had to share it with you guys because <laughs> so pretty. Leave it to me to call dirt pretty, but it is. So let's get the rest of these beds filled. Alrighty guys, so I am done for the day. I didn't finish all of the beds. That just wasn't happening in one day. Um, but I did get one, two, three, three of the four foot by eight foot boxes. So that's the big ones right here. And then I did get the two little ones on that end. And then the little four by four box there. <clears throat> done. So let me show you what they look like and I'll show you the dirt pile too. And here they are all filled up. I cannot wait to see these full of plants. High stripes. And then I did these two long skinny ones on the end and the little four foot by four foot here. Hi guys. Hi snow rock. These guys follow us everywhere. It's so cute. So those are the beds that I got finished. I still got a little ways to go, but it's getting there little by little. But um, here is how much dirt I moved today. You guys remember the pile? It was all of that. So I'm tired, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover what's left of the dirt here clean up my tools and go in and make some dinner for the night and I will uh, see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.